Hey everybody, welcome to another thrilling lecture on the gas laws. <laughs> All right, this is lecture number 19. We're continuing with the gas laws. And here we're just going to do the short video. We'll do a bunch of examples using uh, Boyle's law. Remember, Boyle's law was an inverse relation. Okay? So let me show you how to do this, and you will not need a calculator, and you just need to use the brain that you think you still have, and we want to connect some neurons, okay? So let's connect neurons. Here we go. Here's the example. A gas is held at constant temperature. As soon as you see that, boom, Boyle's law. Remember boil, constant temperature, boil on your butt. Constant temperature, we know it's an inverse relation. P1, V1 equals P2, V2. Thank y'all. All right, so here's the problem. Gas is held at constant temperature. Suppose the initial pressure and volume are 20 atmospheres and 500 milliliters, respectively. What is the new volume if the pressure is? So now we're going to change the pressure and see what happens to the volume. So if the pressure is doubled, if the pressure is halved, if the pressure is increased by 10 times, and if the pressure is decreased by 5 times, we want to know what happens to the volume. The second part of the question, I just asked the reverse. What is the new pressure if the volume is increased by 20 times, increased by four times, decreased by five times? Okay, so we have, again, PV is a constant. So P times V is a constant. Okay, so let's look. In the first case, what's happening? The pressure is doubled, right? So if I make this 2P, it has to be one half the volume. Everybody understand? Inverse relationship. So if I double the pressure, make that twice, it has to be half the volume. So what is half of 500? The new volume is 250 ml. That's our answer. Okay? Next one. What happens if the pressure is halved? If the pressure is halved, the volume has to be doubled. Doubled. That's halved. This is doubled. So what's 2 times 5,000? The answer is 1,000 mLs or 1 liter, right? 1,000 milliliters is 1 liter, okay? Next one, what happens if the pressure is increased 10 times. If the pressure is increased 10 times, the volume must decrease by 10 times. Inverse relationship. So 500 milliliters divided by 10, the answer is 50 ml. Okay? And finally, what happens if, if we increase, de decrease the pressure by five times, the volume must increase by five times. So five times 500, you get 250, 2,500 mLs, which is 2.5 liters. All right? Now, part, the second part, we're, we're, we're changing the volume and we want to find the new pressure. Okay? So if I take the volume, if I increase the volume 20 times, the pressure must decrease by 20 times. So 20 divided by 20, the answer is one atmosphere. The second part, increase the volume by four times, means that the volume decreases by four times. 20 divided by four is five atmospheres. Okay. What happens if we now, what, decrease the pressure Oh, sorry, decrease the volume by five times. If we decrease the volume by five times, the pressure must increase by five times. So here the answer multiplied by five, we get 100 atmospheres. Okay, simple. One other very quick example, exactly the same, same idea. A gas is held at constant temperature, once again, Boyle's law. Suppose the initial pressure and volume are 200 pascals, there's your pressure and 40 liters is your volume. What's the new volume if the pressure is? So now, what are we doing to the pressure? We're doubling. If we double the pressure, what happens to the volume? The volume, inverse relation, must have. What is half of 40? 
The answer is 20 liters. Second part, what happens if we increase the pressure by eight times? If we increase the pressure by eight times, the volume must decrease by eight times. So we divide 40 divided by eight should be five liters. And then finally, what happens if we decrease or have the pressure? Okay, if we have the pressure, then the volume must double. So what is two times 40? Should be 80 liters. Very, very easy. Come on, do this in your head. All right, forget the calculators, forget writing, do it in your head. All right, so the po second part here, we're changing the uh, pressure and see what happens to the volume. So now the pressure is decreasing by four times, so the volume must increase by four times. Four times 40 should be 160 liters. If we increase the pressure by four times, then the volume must decrease by four times. 40 divided by four is what? 10 liters. If we increase the pressure by 20 times, the volume must decrease by 20 times. 40 divided by 20 is two liters. And finally, if we decrease the pressure by 10 times, the volume must increase by 10 times. 10 times 40 is 400 liters. All right, that's enough Boyle's Law. In the next video, we'll look at doing examples with uh, Charles' Law. Charles' Law is constant pressure. All right, take care.